right, Penny. Let me put this on the mute. I wish there was just a little bit more lighting. Hi, Penny. Hey. Hi. 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 What are you doing? Huh? Let me look at your teeth while we're here. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we're going to get you groomed up. Hmm? Hey you guys, what's up? Good morning. We have a new client here. She's been driving by a lot, she said. Oh, I bet I got more light. Look, yeah, I got more light. I forgot about that. I can't see your comments right now, but I just have to say thank you so much for being here. Thanks for seeing us do, do what we do. And I just have to say thank you so much, Penny's mom, for rescuing Penny a year ago. Penny has a really cool story that I want to tell you about. And let me get my Zoom groom brushes while we talk about it. And those of you guys watching who don't want to really be here, but you have to be here because you have to plug me on some other, other place because you hate what I do, thanks a lot for being here and watching everything I do and then talking about it because you help me build my business too. I am really appreciative of your time and the value of your time and what you're doing right now and you being here. It really means a lot to me. I really hope God walks the path with you and shows you the right things to do and the right way to do them, whatever they may be. If you are struggling with something, please reach out to somewhere in your local community that can help you with those things or reach out to someone like me who will push you in the right direction because I know each and every one of us is going through something that we just may be not able to tough through. So Penny here is a rescue dog, and while I chit-chat about that, I need to get the Zoom Groom brush so I can start de-shedding her. Because I just told Mom we would be done in 40 minutes, but if I keep talking, we are not going to be done in 40 minutes. Ariel, if you're watching this, and you're the, pe you're the pet parent, if you're watching this, make sure you say, hey, that's my dog. Okay, girl, because I know you're at the dog park with your other dog, and we'll see you soon. All right, let me get the Zoom Grooms. Stay right there. All right, so I've got two Zoom grooms. One, because it's gonna go faster, and two, because it's very effective. Yeah, I know you might be able to get them cheaper somewhere else, but you get them from me because you're supporting my business. And I think that's what you do, especially if I'm showing you how it works out. Do you want this? You want this? You want me to brush you? <laughs> She's adorable. Who would not want to rescue her? Boy, I've gotta tell you a story about her. So. Mom, are you out there? You want to tell the story? Me and Mom are going to talk when she picks up later on. I told her, I said, oh my gosh, can, I, can you tell YouTube about it? And she goes, absolutely. So this is our first time together, and believe it or not, we're not shaving her. <laughs> we don't shave everything. I will shave anything, but we are not shaving her. So have fun with that one. Um, <laughs> freaking people man so I'm gonna do some de shedding here I could see her timidness a little bit at the floor on the floor when she came in so I let mom know hey if she doesn't let me blow dry I won't make her let me blow dry her right you know what I mean I don't want to cause any more stress than what is already there when I know here in Texas air drying is just fine uh, with most people there's some haircuts you can't do and do air dry and then really believe in like poodles you know that's a tough one to let air dry because you actually don't get to finish finish unless you're doing a really short summer cut but if you have a senior pet why not air dry if you have a pet that really hates blow drying why not air dry and don't make the decision yourself make a suggestion but let the pet owner help you decide what's best for the pet I've been around pets a long time to really see if they can show me they're really timid with me just walking around them, they're probably going to be pretty timid with a freaking huge sounding crazy wild blow dryer. But I'm not your local, I'm not your regular groomer, okay? I'm doing one dog at a time. This is very different than some places. You can't compare. You cannot do 20, 30 dogs an hour, which is what's happening in some of the big shops. I am not that. So you don't like what I do, it's okay. You can go like somewhere else that does 20 or 30 dogs a day, okay? They're out there. If you don't like me doing one dog an hour, 
You probably are going to hate the people doing 20 dogs an hour. I hope you wake up. And honestly, if you have nothing nice to say, you shouldn't say anything at all. Right? Okay. We're going to turn you around. Okay? I'm going to turn you around. So, I hope it was Ariel. Let me make sure because I hate not being... Yeah, okay, Ariel. So Ariel rescued her a year ago. And the story goes, and I'll let her tell you a little bit more, but the story goes, um, she had rescued another dog three years ago. So they have two big dogs. And you see, can you kind of tell her favoring her leg here? Well, the, the dog had been hit by a car, okay? Penny had been hit by a car. And the owners couldn't afford or didn't want to. I don't know. Ariel can clear that up. I forgot what she said. But they, they didn't get the leg fixed. And so the leg had healed in a backwards situation. So they had found a posting on Facebook about the dog and not being able to be fixed or repaired or go to the vet. And the, the family got rid of the dog in that condition. And Ariel and her husband decided they really wanted to pick her up. So they did. So they rescued her off of a Facebook post and her, her leg healed. When she sits down, it goes completely backwards, you guys. She can tell you a little bit more about that story, but I heard it and I was like, oh my goodness. You know what I mean? How it just hurts your heart a little bit. We all don't have all the money to fix all kinds of things and I can understand that. I guess I kind of applaud the situation that was kind of cool that they did say, hey, we can't help this dog. Can someone step in, right? Because if you don't ask for help, you don't know. And you don't know what to do, right? But that's a sad situation. She got hit. Look how wonderful she is. Look how sweet she is. She's so sweet. I have groomed some Rottweilers that were not sweet. Raise your hand if you, if you know what I'm talking about. There was one Rottweiler, man, she, it took me two hours to bathe her. She wouldn't stand up. She tried to bite me the whole time. She was mean. Boy, we are getting a lot of hair out, aren't we? <laughs> you got these big burly eyes, but let me tell you, you're absolutely so sweet. Look how much hair I'm getting. I can't show you because the tub is just taking all the hair down, but man, there's a lot of hair. Maybe I can scoop it up at the end here. You can get the Zoom Groom under brushes at myfavoritegroomer.com. Yeah, I know you can shop anywhere you want. Anywhere your heart is content. I know that. But I'm a business too. And when, I don't know if you guys do not know, but people want to profit. That's what business is about, profit. Profit to pay bills and to be wealthy. Wealthy hopefully means you have no bills, right? I can tell you I am not that yet. Maybe one day, maybe one day I could be a millionaire. Don't you guys all want to be a millionaire? What do you guys dream about? What are your dreams? And is that someone out there telling you you can't live your dream? If they are, you just tell them, be quiet, go about your own business, because I am going to make my dreams happen. If you want to be a millionaire, no, no one's going to stop you but yourself. Millionaire, honestly, to me, I hope that millionaires, I hope millionaires really invest their money back in their community and back into people and back into programs and things like that, that help other people. So here's an example of what, how much hair I just got off with those Zoom grooms. And she's a young dog, right? So she does not a lot of this and that, not a bunch of this and that going on. All right, we're going to do the bath together. This stuff back here, if you have a problem with that, that's rust. Okay, this kind of stuff, this stuff back here is rust. There's nothing I can do about that rust right now, okay? Let's just be clear about that. All righty, let's get our Pet Silk Shampoo going here. I definitely need an apron. Can you hang out for me a sec? Ariel, are you out there watching? <laughs> Look at her happy, she's so happy. Okay, I have an idea. I can look at you guys chatting with me on my cell phone if I just set it up here. Okay, let me tell Michelle here to go watch us live. Uh, I'm so sorry, yeah. I'm so sorry. Let me just look at this here. Let's look at the live chat. 
David, thank you so much for moderating. That's awesome. Okay, let me move this here. Now I can kind of see what you guys are saying when I look over because we're in the tub area. This is why I haven't moved. I'm doing a lot of construction back here. I'm going to try to fix it up a little bit. Ariel, she's out there. Woohoo! Make sure you subscribe, girl. Close the chat and hit subscribe. Hit the notification bell, stuff like that, okay? <sighs> yeah, I don't know, Scott. I think people are so mean. And that's funny is that some of these places say, hey, no being mean here. But yet the person who dev devoured, derived the groups and stuff like that are, are being so mean. Like, how can you have a business in business to just hate on somebody? You must have a lot of spare time, and I don't. I don't even have spare time to go look for you. People call you guys out for me, which David hates, by the way. David does not like spreading rumors. He does not like talking behind people's back. These groups won't even let me add myself. Let me tell you, they deny my addition. <laughs> not that I even have time to check on stuff. Why, Scott? Why? Steve. Yeah, Scott. It was Scott. Don't you love my new mask? Look! Then we've got new designs in, so get one, okay, you guys? The Master Groomer. Okay, here we go. Let's get our Pet Soap Shampoo going. I have it relocated for a minute. Okay, I'm sorry. Was that sudden? Okay, my bad. Yeah. It's a little chilly. Let me get that warmed up for you. Okay, okay. Okay. You see her get worried? She's a little worried. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. You don't like the water? Okay. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Okay. Let me get this on here. Okay, so see how she's got a lot of movement here? I kind of don't want that because it's going to get everything wet. So I'm going to put this other groom loop on and bring her to stay over on this side until I'm ready to turn her around. Otherwise, my tub, my feet, the camera, everything's going to get really wet. And by the way, you guys might still get wet. I better back you up. Splashing and stuff like that. Okay, thank you. Steve, we're on the same page, man. Okay. I kind of like to do the head last as well because once you get the head wet, by the way, if you didn't figure this out just yet, if you get the head wet, then there's a lot of shaking. And then that's, here we go. Okay, wait a minute. There's a lot of shaking going on once you get the head wet, okay? This is the bad knee here. She's um, Man, mom pointed it out before she left, and I thought, oh my gosh, that she's sitting on it, and it's backwards. She goes, yeah, I know, it, it's unusual, but it's, that's how it healed. Ariel, you guys saw the veterinarian over that? What'd they say? There's nothing you can do. You're not going to break it in half again, are you? You know what I mean? I got to finish the rest of this. It didn't work out. I was going to put some shampoo in that bottle. Well, that's not going to work out. It's not diluted. I don't, do not dilute it. You can dilute it, but when you dilute it, you better go ahead and get rid of it that same day, okay? That end of the day, whatever you diluted needs to go be emptied outside or whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and get some uh, tearless shampoo for the face here. If you don't have a bottle of tearless shampoo, you might want to just have some. If, especially if you're grooming multiple dogs, because then you might have that dog that moves around a lot. Yeah. You want a massage? You want a massage? -y? Mm. Okay, okay, 
just water. See now how she can't loop around and all that? It's good to have two or three loop hoops over there so that you can do that, okay? And a couple extra groom loops too. Since her head is down, I'm gonna go back this way. I don't want all this to go up into her ear area. I'll do the head last. Clear the drain as you work, okay? And you go, you know, like over five years now, I, I always say the same things. Sometimes I don't say the same at all though, right? You want to rinse off more than you bathe, like lather. You want all that soap gone. Scott, these are, this is a hot area for soap to stick up under that hip right there. You don't want to get in the bum, get a towel. But really get in there and make sure there's no poo left over. go that way and go around. Ready? Go. Go, 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 go all the way. There you go. Good girl. Nope, you're going to have to turn that way for me. This way. There you go. You're all right. You're all right. Now I'm going to loop you on this side. Okay. There. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do this side. Okay. She still wants to go the other direction. I have to wash your head here. Ah! That was a lot of water, man. I'm all wet now. Let me see. Look down. Look down. Okay, don't shake yet. Let me. Okay, let me get myself a towel. Woo! I'm glad I was standing there, man. I got completely soaked. Okay, it would have been the camera if it wasn't me. Look, man, look at all this water. Look, my face. <laughs> okay, hold on. Woo! Sir, if I didn't have an apron, it would be over. Okay, woo! <sighs> 3.30 in the morning, good Lord. Are you in the New Zealand comment? Who's, I'm not ready for the holidays, man. No holidays for me. I'm taking a break now. Okay. I shouldn't even put that there. Now, let's try this again. Okay, okay, okay. No. There you go. You're okay. I need you to calm down. Okay? Did you guys have to spend any money on surgery yourself or anything like that? Can you say something about that? If you're, are you still? Hopefully, your husband's holding the other dog at the dog park, right? If you turn around, I can't access this side over here. Go 
that way. Go that way. No. Come over here. Come over here. Turn this way. Okay, turn that way. Stay there. She's so strong. I knew you were going to turn around. I just knew it. I just knew it. Whew. Did she write back on there? I don't see that. It is back breaking. Actually, it's, it's, it's hurting my chest. The might that you have to do to push her back around. Uh... She doesn't like this side, can you tell? Okay, there, there, there. There, there, there. Oh yeah, good girl, good girl. Thank you. You must have heard me tell you it hurts my chest. Good girl. Good girl. Got a pretty good bump here, let me see. Can I look at this? Let me see. Don't get mad. Yeah, what is that? What is that bump, huh? Mmm, it's big. Okay. We'll tell Mama about it. You can't see it, it's under the skin, but it is big. Oh, Marta, you're welcome. Awesome. You know, when I turn the water on and she gets really afraid, right? Or the movement, stuff like that. I can tell you in my head right there, I'm going, I'm worried about the blow dryer. Like I'm, I'm preparing myself that she's not gonna love the blow dryer. So I remember I had already told you guys about that a little bit. second. Go ahead and shake. Go ahead and shake. Shake. Go ahead and shake. Go ahead and shake. I'm trying to see. Let's not the camera get wet. Go ahead and shake. Go ahead. You, no, don't drink that water. You can shake now. She's about to shake. I'm telling you now. Go ahead. You gonna shake? Go ahead. Go ahead, because I gotta protect the camera a little bit. Huh? We need a screen, you guys. Thanks, Spring. Thanks, Marta. Woohoo! 50! What? Woo! That's awesome! Go ahead and shake. Shake. I'm gonna get you to shake in a second. I know you're gonna shake as soon as I go for an ear cleaner. Okay. Wait for me. Wait for me. 
Wait, I'm gonna, this is gonna help me get her to shake. This is a secret. Go ahead and clean their ears. Cause it's gonna, oh yeah, let me see your ear. On a new dog you've never met before, if there's an ear infection, boy man, they will let you know. So make sure you kind of glance first, okay? Glance in there first, don't just attack the ears like going in ready to clean. I kind of glanced first. And I don't see something that looks like an ear. Okay, here we go. Yay, she's shaking. Yes. Good girl. Gonna clean this off here. Good, 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 good. You guys got a little wet out there. <laughs> All right, let's try you off. Let's try you off now. Go ahead and try your best to soak up as much as you can here. And you can see, Mom, we're wrapping up the groom. If you're watching, I'll text you in a few minutes here. They might be outside waiting. They might have, go ahead. Eva, Eva. <laughs> uh, David's leaving. David, are you getting on the road? I'll see you soon. Try to get as much water off as you can now because I'm anticipating, right? No blow drying. We'll see in a second how it goes. We'll see when we turn on the power. So Rottweilers, did you guys remember seeing the Rottweiler Simba? And say I want to say Sadie. And I groomed them till they passed away. Did you guys see that? Simba, I think Simba's the last groom. Oh my gosh, man. And dad took me to dinner and said, thank you, Didi, so much for caring for my dogs for so many years. He's a firefighter. And it really touched my heart. I groomed a handful of Rottweilers in my career, and I groomed them until they were like old. And every single Rottweiler that I was a groomer for got hip dysplasia, bad, every one of them. There was not one that, that went because of heart failure or that went, it, it came prevalent on their health with their hips and their size and their weight. Like all those things were what brought them down. It wasn't organs or organ failure in my business that I have, that I can recall, you know what I mean? And tell you guys about. So if you have a Rottweiler, and this is a Rottweiler mix, this is a Rottweiler pit mix, Did, okay? Just so you know. And I'm not the owner, but that's what I've been told. If you don't like the, what I've been told, you'll have to take it up with the owner. So, you still, if you have that big dog, you just got to be aware of some of the things that you do. Don't overwalk. Can you believe that? You have to actually say that. Don't overwalk your pet. If you have a boxer, I had a guy with a boxer. He called me and said, Didi, my dog stopped walking. And she's a healthy, beautiful, sweet, kind boxer. And I said, well, tell me your routine. What do you mean she stopped walking? And remember, I'm not a veterinarian, right? But I've been doing this a long time. And when you've been doing something a long time, you kind of, you know, you're in the industry, you kind of hear about stuff. And that's why people are like, let me hear your advice. So I said, well, lay out your routine for me. Well, we get up in the morning. I take her for a 10 minute walk. I go to work. I get home. I take her for a two hour walk. She jumps up into the truck. She jumps down. She jumps this. Da, da, da. And I was like, you do this every day. I was like, oh, you've walked her too much. I was like, you're doing two hour walks in the afternoon plus a walk in the morning. I was like, oh, she can't. She's already passed on. Beautiful dog. That dog was so sweet. I never did groom her. I worked with him at uh, the FAA. Okay, I think we've done enough towel drying, right? What, am I going to towel dry you for an hour? No. Put this up here. I don't even need to dry her, man. We're done. You know what I mean? All right, let's see how she does with the blow dryer, though, okay? Is that my favorite groomer writing? How is that possible? Dee, Dee, are your cords good? Uh, maybe not. Hold on. Let me take a look. They're all twin, twin twined. Twin twined? Let me take some of these powers off of each other. Oh, goodness. Okay. This is why we don't go to the tub area very often anymore. There's too much going on. Too many cords and all this and that. You guys have no idea. Distracting. Okay, let's see what this is doing. Okay, if the cords aren't good now, that's all I can do for you. So do you see your leg here, how it goes backwards? This is, 
this is how it repaired itself, okay? It's unusual, isn't it? It's, it's sad to see, but do you not know? She doesn't know any different, right? Okay. Mom? All right, you guys, get your goggles on. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> I just said Mom, too. Mom! Okay, let me text some Mom here. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm having her wait outside if possible. That way uh, there's not too much going on. All right, let's go. Oh, she's texting me back. That was fast. Almost there. Okay, I was gonna say it again, wait outside. That way I don't have another big dog and a big dog and all these cords and all this stuff going on and I've gotta get down. Okay, okay, okay. Now. Come here. I'm gonna put you right here because this is your favorite position, right? That's me, me with glasses, okay? Nails look great. I'll do a double check. Dew claws need to be done, but I'll do a double check. Watch the leg. Now, let's just turn it on and see. If you don't want to hear this part of it, you guys push mute, okay? Look at her. She knows, man. She don't want to do this. Watch. That's low. That's on low. Mm -hmm. You gotta test it out first. Worried? She's worried. She's about to blow everything down. A stress. A stress right there. I haven't done anything yet. May I?
get a bristle brush. I know, unusual. Bristle brush, leave-in conditioner, little cologne. I say cologne and I, when I hear cologne, I actually think strong. How many of you guys have that pet silk sh uh, cologne shampoo and everything? It's not like that, is it? It's not like strong, devastating, killer. It's not like that. Unless, Tracy, like, you do it every day, right? <laughs> Tracy, you know I got to pick on you out there. You know I'm talking to you, Tracy. <laughs> Sorry about that arm, that arm thing. So leave-in conditioner here in my favorite spray bottle. Okay. You do what you like. You got your own tricks. No one's telling you what to do. You run your business. Do your thing. Do a little of this. Just a couple squirts. I have nothing crazy. Come back through with the bristle, kind of just shape it up. I'm actually going to take these feathers off a little bit. I checked your pads earlier. The pads are not like hairy or anything, but I am going to check a dew claw or two before we're totally done here. Okay. I'd rather do her on the tub because I just uh, it feels better for me, I think. here you just can shape it this is my 8.5 just come around this way you don't have to do this you don't want to just shape that so it's not all crazy and wild 8.5 you're okay you're gonna sit down okay I can get that angle on that hair that flurry stuff hanging there yeah can you stand back up though you don't want to turn around so I, I do need you to stand back up just once, just one more time, huh? Can you? Come look at her leg, man. I tell you, it breaks my heart. Come on, stand up, stand up, stay up for a minute. I mean, I know. I need to let you rest. I, I agree. I agree. But one more moment here. Tail isn't bad or anything like that. Just tad bit there. You gotta go deeper, get your 10 blade out with the clippers. Okay, almost done with her. All right, girlfriend. Can I look at all your nails? Okay, let me see. one's real hard. I'll hold you up a little bit here. Just this one. Oh, you got it? You got it? One second. One second. Good. Good. One more fall. Okay. Let me see. Let me see here. 
just this leg here. Let me see. Well, we can do a few on this one. All right, we're wrapping it up. We'll be right back. Mama, the strainer that I use is in my store. It's special, so go get go get that under the other section. And then, Ariel, you can walk in here just the human. Leave your other dog out there for a minute, would ya? Marta, thank you so much for your donations. I think you're, wow, 50 twice? If you did that by accident, I'll send it back. But what the, for reals? Thank you, Marta. Mama, seriously, the strainer, the, everything I use, I have really inve invested a lot of time in figuring it all out, okay? So the strainer, I went through metal after, I went through metal one. You know the metal would come off and poke me in the finger and make me bleed? So there's a reason why I have the things I have, okay? So here comes Ariel. Ariel, come in by yourself! I'll let you, I'm just going to do like an interview at the end, but I think what I'll do is just a quick hello, hello Hi, thing. Mama. Hey! Say hey. You, you're gonna oh. eat it in the tub? Yeah. Most dogs don't it's even do dog. that. You oh. wanna eat it in the tub? Yeah, you need it cookie. broken up a little bit for you? Can you? Oh, she's so excited. She's oh, so mom's excited. here. I think I'm oh, mom. Is she locked in over there too? I can't remember. Uh, no. Yeah, I do. I do have her over there, so I can take this one off. Yeah, okay. You want a cookie? Do you want it now? Good job. Oh. Oh. I missed you. You did so good. Mom, watch the say there. Do that. I like that picture. Do it again, do it again. Oh, that's so awesome. You did so good. Yeah. Didn't she do great? She did really good. I was really, Did you really see how I was, like, worried about the whole yeah. blow dryer thing? Yeah. But, Lynn, Lynn, like, I, I worry. Good. I let you know that I'm worried. But it's not like I don't try it it's, out, right? Yeah. So we tried it, and she just, and I was like, yeah. Did you watch that she part? She did great. She did so good. I'm really, really proud of her. Yay. And then, have you ever been able to see it happening before? No, I've never So this is kind of cool. Was it cool for you? Of, yeah, they always just kind of close the door. And yeah. I sat there with the kids. I'm like, look, guys. You're with the kids right now? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Did you guys watch on an iPad? We did. We watched what? on an iPad. And Pretty then awesome. We went, we went to the park. I'm like, click everybody. Oh Daddy, my gosh. Look at so cool. We didn't even play. We just sat there and watched so Penny cool. get clean. So it was really fun. Penny, right? Yeah. I'm saying that right. Okay. So YouTube is looking at your your back right now. Oh. Hi, hi. hi. Sorry. So t tell us real quick. I you, Let me see here. Let me, you can stay there. Just just real quick. That story you told me. So you, Sure. Yeah, go ahead. So Penny, um, we originally found her on Facebook. She already had a broken leg when we picked her up. Unfortunately, what wound up happening was she got hit by a car and the owners of her couldn't afford to get the leg fixed. So when they did get rid of her, it had already healed that way and we took her to a vet to see if we could get it fixed. And unfortunately, the vet said that that would do more harm um, than it would good just to leave it alone because she's getting around just fine on it. Uh -huh. she's so do you, do you think, think it's painful at all? Do you not ever so. notice where she's limping? Well, obviously, but no. whining. Her, meh. How no. about, uh, so you had her one year. Have mm -hmm. you had her through the winter then, last no. year? No, no. So we, we had her part of the winter, but, well, I guess, no, it would have been last yeah, year. We've right? had, yeah, we've had her through one year. So winter. nothing where you felt like, you know, arthritis. Mm -mm. So, okay. Nothing crazy. But as she gets older, keep that in your head. Yeah, yeah. You're like, hmm, she's really hobbling now that it's like 30 degrees, yeah. right? But normally, I mean, she gets around on it just fine, and we, I mean, we don't see anything wrong with her. Awesome. She's doing really good so far. That's great. Is she so soft now? She's so, she's so Does she smell good? Yes, yeah, she does. She oh, by good. the way, I saw the hair coming off. I'm like, that's all did the she... hair that's usually on my floor. Really? <laughs> yes, she oh, has such she's... a thick coat. Yeah, it's all in it my right. it's coarse. Right. So every time it falls out, I'm like, oh my God, look she at my is floor. So sweet. <laughs> she is so sweet, girl. You are a sweet girl. Thank you, you for your good. story. I so, oh, she grabbed her arm. She grabbed her arm. She said, don't stop that's touching nice me. Girl. That's okay, so I'm gonna help her get out, um, and then I'm gonna just let me help okay. you. I'll let me show you what I'm trying to do okay. here. Um, 
Okay, hold on here. Okay, I got it. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna bring her down, but before that, there what did you see me say there's a lump? Yeah. So here, yeah. give me your finger and then come back here and then uh, go all the way under. Under there. Oh. Do you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell I'll talk to you about it at the door, okay? Sure. Interesting, right? Yeah. So feel it. Go ahead and feel it again. Really knob it, ro roll it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll talk about that at the door. And so I'm gonna bring her. <gasps> what? Do you know what that feels like? Yeah, I know what it feels like. Do you know what it feels like? Like two babies in her leg, and I'm wondering if that's just me, but I'm serious. Oh, what? They're, they separate. Do does someone have a BB in your house? No, no. No. What are you talking about? That's what it feels like to me. Or like a rock. It's really mobile. Yeah, so I'll, t I'll talk. I've got, I'm not a veterinarian. If you have things like this that pop up on your dog, make sure you go see your veterinarian for further information, okay? I'm going to brief mom on what I think she should do, and I'm going to do it offline. Because I know some of you guys, you know, the hateful people, you know who you are. You would take it to a whole nother level. So we're going to take it, or take her pet over there. I'm going to put the harness on first. Okay. And I put the harness back over here. Some people just don't know how to have an open mind, and so they their assumptions are really wrong. And I've learned this a long time ago. But when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me, which is that's why A-S-S-U-M-E. So I try not to assume. I can kind of speculate. I guess we all speculate, but to really be so vulgar in some of the things that people say, I really wish that we would all watch our tongues. So I'll tell mom what I think it is, which I've, I've uh, felt things like that before. So we'll talk about it. We'll get that thing now. Okay. So this is hanging there. I'm going to bring her down. And then your other pet, did you send me a picture? Yeah. And it was Collie, but real short hair like this. No, no, no. He's a lab. He's a lab mixed with... But it was not like... I, I don't know that... I, oh, so she's not... What? I'm so sorry, you guys. So <laughs> Rottweiler... Rottweiler Collie. Hello! Her next one is Lab Pitbull. Yeah. Okay, so you can slap me for that one. <laughs> um, so Rottweiler Collie. That's why we got those furnishings back here. Okay, so rewind, take that back. Okay. Now her other pet coming in is Lab Pitbull, and I think we're going to go straight to the tub again, okay. right? Yeah, he's a big dog. But he's not um, haircut. No. Okay, uh -uh. exactly. He's strictly washed. You mean I can't shave him no, down? No. I mean, gosh, I thought I shaved everything down. I wish. <laughs> then they'd have no hair to get all over my Come house. On. Come on. I'm going to bring you down. Ready? Come on. Good job, Mom. Yeah. Hi, Chicka Bud. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're so pretty. This, I'm here before. It's easier. Come here. No, I can't. Come on. I didn't know there was a door back here, did you? I'll see you with your other one. You want to come back over here? Yeah, no, you're going to go that way. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go some of the things I think is really cool is like, you know how something, um, check this out. So she's like, oh, Dee Dee. She's like one of those, you know, like you go probe yourself. Listen. I don't know about you guys, but you know how we always Google something and we go do something ourselves first? Well, let me tell you, putting up tile, it really sucked Googling it. Hire a professional, okay? <sighs> right, David? <laughs> but she's she works at a dental clinic. So she's like, oh, these things, I mean, we just cut these things out, right? So you guys are going to do your own thing. No one's going to tell you not to do it. And then if something doesn't go right, am I not right? Can I get some, yes, I did that, Dee Dee? I had a lump on my neck. Do you not know I cut myself until it was all out? I, I'm going to try to take care of things myself before I go into surgery, right? So, keep that in mind. <sighs> okay. Ooh, ooh, we do have a pit bull in the house. Okay. 
Yeah, I gotta move all this. So earlier you guys were already, I, I had the pet in the tub, so just bear with me. Just stay here for a minute, we'll go to a, a quick, uh, Okay, here Hi. we go. Okay, well, so who, who do we have here? This is Harvey. This is Harvey, and he was a rescue three years ago, right? Yes, he is he is our, our puppy all the way to, to still a puppy, but he's a lot bigger now. Um, we rescued him okay. from, okay. it's okay, mom's here. We rescued okay. him from Hurricane Harvey. He had a little sister named Irma, and she was real skinny and emaciated just like him. Wow. Um, Did you guys hear that? Hurricane Harvey. That's freaking, her story is amazing, isn't it, you guys? But they both came Where are you in. Where going? No, they both came in from out. far away, and then um, my husband and I decided that he needed to just come home with us. Really? Yeah, he's a complete sweet potato. Look how um, big he is. He he's big, really tall. He's, he is a sweetheart. Look how tall you are. Hi. He just wants to be loved 24-7. Oh, you're so pretty. Look at this stuff. What happened there? I don't know. And see, it's the same thing around his ears. He's had all of this since we adopted him. He's got all these little nicks. Really? And look at his ears. He's been like that since we had him. Really? Since he was a puppy. Mm -hmm. Since he was a puppy, he's had all that. Yep. Just all scarred up. And a lot of this actually grew in really well. He used to have super scarred ears when we got him. In the place. You want my opinion? Him. Sure. So this kind of stuff here mm -hmm. uh, is uh, like, you see the, the cages are graded? Uh -huh. So a dog like Faith, I was kennel training her, and she came from a rescue situation. She was running the streets. Yeah. So when a dog, let's like just say he's running Hurricane Harvey, mm -hmm. and someone picks him up, puts him in a cage like that yeah. to pick him up and rescue him. Yeah. And they don't like it. So they rub their nose for hours oh, wow. on that crate. So okay. Faith has a line here that she scarred herself oh, wow. doing that on the crate. Right? Yeah. But she had to get kennel trained. So what are you going to do? And let's just say he had to travel miles to get here yeah. or there or there or from that Hurricane Harvey out. Then that could have all happened. Him just doing panicking yeah. in that cage. But he's been, he's right? been nicked up like that since we got him. And yeah. I mean, and it's, it's, but that's, it's, I, I could see that being that. And then these ears, let's just say he's in a crate with hundreds outside in Louisiana flies. So then you have flies and he's just flapping his head the whole time. Yeah. Flapping causes damage to this membrane, oh, wow. right? So here it's a lot of damage from flapping or the flies eating and flying, you know what I'm saying? That. We thought yeah, that's what, from being that's like, my opinion. Yeah, we thought these were just from like fleas and being in no. a pound for a while. And well, all that, right? So flies yeah. and all that, all that. But flies will definitely do ear damage okay. and then flapping him like, get away. Dogs like this will do that and a, an ear infection will cause this. Yeah. But not permanently, because usually you fix an ear infection, right? Yeah. And then you wrap the ears and keep them safe or whatever, and then they don't flap for hours and days. They yeah. just flap for a couple, like an hour or a few minutes. Well, how lucky but you yeah, are that you're cool? so rotten now. <laughs> it's <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for your story. Thank you for That's rescuing cool. these guys. That's freaking awesome. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful story. All right, so I'm going to have you exit that door. Yep. You'll be able to watch on YouTube. And then you'll have your other pet, so her other pet, the, the, the way we did it was so no one had to be caged for very long. So two big dogs, and I didn't want them to feed off of each other's energy and be real hyper. Oh, they would have been. They would have been, right. <laughs> so this makes it, and this, was this okay for you? Yeah, this Perfect. was great for me. It worked out fine. He's just, he is a little, what you'll see with him is he loves his sister. Okay. He wants to be around her 24-7. Okay. So okay. he's kind of, oh my gosh, we're sister. I, sure, I need sure. to be where she's at. 
but he's never bitten anybody. He's mm -hmm. never been aggressive. If anything, he'll just whine a lot. He's a whiner. I'm actually gonna lock you in there, scoot you over. All right, we'll see how he does. All right. All, All right, see. see bye. Bye. Baby, see you bye. later. She'll be right back, okay? I'll be back. Bye. We'll be right back, okay? I should just put all this on now. Yeah. I know. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Don't you worry. Me and you are gonna do a little something. something. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Let's get these out. Mom said you like baths? Yeah. Mom said you did like baths. Okay. You're all right. What I do need to do is get a uh, smell. Yeah, we're gonna use these right here on you. And get my face mask. A little high, more high anxiety, uh, separation anxiety. You do smell funky. You do smell funky. Ooh, look at all this hair. Look at all this hair. Do you see it? Look at this hair. Do you see it? I gotta bring you guys in. Look. 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 You better be wearing a face mask. I don't care if you're just brushing or not. He likes those loud noise. I'm gonna have to make some more loud noises. We might take it back. He might be the one we can't blow dry. I'm over here like, if I said it wrong, you take it out with the owner. <laughs> Freaking hilarious, man. Oh, I forgot why I came over here. I was going to tell you what she said. Because I asked her um, earlier, I said, she goes, yeah, I drive by, I drive by and see your business. And I said, uh, the quote I gave her was pretty high because I'm not really taking new clients right now. And I said, you still want to come in? I said, that's not going to be the rate that you're paying. Because, I mean, you just never know over the phone. Hey, 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 hey. No. No, we're not doing that. Okay? Let me see here. He's a big boy. He wants to own me. He's going to be able to own me. Hey, hey, no. Calm down. Nothing's happening. Whatever you've been through, I'm really sorry you've been through that, but it's not happening. It's not happening here. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's going down. Okay? Let me come this way. This should be a workout for you. <laughs> yeah, use your whole body. Use all of your body. Go down, go up, go back and forth, right? This is why some groomers, what? You guys know what I'm talking about. You don't do big dogs, right? Because after a while, you're really wore out. And after a certain age, you can't really pick them up anymore. And you got to be able to move them around, spin them around, tell them to stop. 
Tell me, are you doing big dogs in your business? And if the, the answer is no, how old did you stop doing big dogs? Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> I know, all this hair. There's hair on your face and your forehead too, man. And I know it's shedding. Because when, sh when I touch face, she's shedding all over my pillow. Second round, look. Look. This is a compilation right here of all the hair. Okay, 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 my bad. That's the tension right there. And that's okay, but that's just be aware that that's what that is. He's like, oh, you're not touching me anymore? I need you to touch me. I need you to give me attention like that. I don't think it's right, but I'm not here to fix that. That's not my job. I can't fix that, and no one can fix that right now in an hour to 35 minute room. All that hair, yeah. All right. I got to look in his ears a few minutes ago and they're really dirty, so I can't wait to do those, but they don't look like there's a major infection or something like that going on. Calm down, bud. Right, get your pet silk shampoo here. I'm gonna come in. guys are you happy out there <laughs> mama thank you so much that's awesome maybe i don't have my thing on no i have it on don't i you might be on mute i hope you guys can see me are you can you guys see me let me go make sure You can see me, right? Can you guys see me? Oh gosh, I was so starting to panic, man. I hit a cord earlier, just a few minutes ago, and I almost started panicking. I was like, man, I hope that didn't plug into something. I'm gonna do the head last. So, uh, you already want to shake. I better get all this off of you before I get really wet. I didn't even do your face yet. Go ahead, shake. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want to shake? Go ahead. Go ahead. We are talking to each other. Go ahead and shake. Go. I knew it. Okay. Look at your ear. Is that ear doing some floppy? My dogs do that. That's conditioner here. Get your rainforest conditioner.
you know what? On the strain that I have, you just go swirly, swirly, swirly and pick up the hair. You don't have to take it out and dump it and all that. It's pretty freaking awesome. Just swirly, swirly and pick it up, pull, and it'll come all out. All the hair will come out. And it captures a lot of hair. Can you go over there? There you go. My tippy toes, man. I don't know about you, but You have to do your head. I have to turn you around this way. Yeah. You ready? You ready for this? See his look on his face, man. Okay, let's turn around. Ready? Let's go. Turn around. Turn around that way. Good boy. Okay. Easy. Go ahead, Kate. Good boy. Easy. Let's get this tear off. Yeah. I don't 
don't like the smell of that one. Get a different one. Are you going to let me use a blow dryer on you? You going to shake? You want to shake again? You're so cute, man. Thanks, Marie. Whew. Is that going to buy me ice cream? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't really go eat out ice cream all the time, man. I don't even have any ice cream at the house. Okay, don't go anywhere. You can't reverse here. I thought I thought it said something for a little bit of something after your work. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, I'm gonna go get an ice cream. No, I'm just kidding. Here in Texas, if you have ice cream on a hot day, guess what happens? Your stomach will soil. I'm telling you, you do not have ice cream on 100 degree days. I don't even know why I'm talking about ice cream right now. This is ridiculous. We need to talk about something else, Evie. Hmm, let me see your paw. Look up. Hey, hey. Let me see. We come a long way from the beginning, huh? He was really high anxiety. That um, separation anxiety is what I need to say. Really a problem with the separation anxiety, you know. But look, it took time. We got focused. Not a lot of chatter, you know, not a lot of chit-chatting with him, just more focusing and quiet time. And he was able to calm down with it. Just imagine him with like 16 other dogs in the same room. I think he would be really feeding off of that. That's a big difference between him and Penny. We are all different people and animals, and we all feed off a different kind of energy. And someone can't come and say, hey, change your energy. You are who you are. You know that, right? You can try to, like David says, Dee, calm down. But I am who I am. I'm going to go a mile a minute until I'm done with life. You don't understand? You guys know, like, Betty Dyer? I bet you go a mile a minute, too, man. That's how come you can sell some amazing stuff. You're not sitting around doing nothing. You put all your might and all your energy into what you do, and you are good at it. You're passionate, right? Someone come around and tell you to change who you are. Be quiet. No, you be quiet. You go find yourself. You find yourself and find your inner peace and your own energy and do what you do. You want to be a quiet person? Be a quiet person. You want to be a loud and wild person? Be a loud and wild person. Don't have someone come telling you what to do and how to live your life and how to do things, because they're not living your life, are they? Are they even living their own? Hmm, let's think about that. Are you living your life to your max? Would God be proud of you? Would God be proud of you? I can't answer that. I'm asking you to answer that for yourself. Okay, look at his face. He's so gorgeous. He's so gorgeous. Are you talking to me? Who's that? You hear something out there? Okay. Shall we try the... Ariel, shall I try the blow dryer? <laughs> shall I try the blow dryer? If I do, we're going to do it. The blow dryer is pretty stressful. So I'm going to do ear clip. Turn around this way. Over here. That did not hurt the dog. Me pushing like that does not hurt the dog. Okay? He's wild, right, Ariel? Jumping around. That does not hurt. Okay. Let's do an ear cleaning first. If this blow dryer ends up pissing him off, and his ears are really dirty, so I'm going to get a few things out here. If the blow dryer ends up pissing him off, then I don't want to have to come back and mess with his ears. I want that to already be done. And it's always good to be uh, safe than sorry, right? I'll say that. It's always best to be safe, not sorry. Hey, okay. Can I see your Okay, smell? Smell? Okay. Come here. Let me see this one. Don't lick your lips like that. Let me see. Uh, uh, uh. Don't get mad at me. I seen how dirty they were a few minutes ago. Okay, you need to let me in there, okay? So bear with me here. Ooh, look at this. Look how dirty that is in there. It's gross. 
I need, well, I need to do that. I need more cotton balls. Let me see. Let me see here. Go forward and backwards. Big ear hole too, so you got you're able to really scoop that stuff out of there. Now I like to use these ear swabs. Here, smell. Okay. Let me see. And we're gonna. Hey, hey. Excuse me. You guys are not reading body language. This is. Do you know what this means here? Okay. Let me see this side. Let me see. Forward and backwards. Just scoop a forward and back. Look on my finger. I gotta get more now. You can get the ear cleaner kit on myfavoritegroomer.com as well. I got everything put together for you. Come here, this side. Good boy. Look, other ear, other ear. Okay. Smell? Yeah, I know it smells like. It's very strong, isn't it? Getting it better, getting it better. Let me see. Look at it. You fold your ear for me? I know. Let me go here and move back. Oh, wait, wait, wait for it. Let me get under these little things here. Uh uh. We have like bundles of. of ear swabs and cotton balls like I wish I'd have bought bundles before I don't know why I've been buying little stuff like all my whole career so now I, I carry those for you guys so you can put them in your order so I'm looking better here less and less all right I feel like you could just go home like this after a nail trim but I am gonna see how you react with the, the blow drying okay all right can I turn you around turn around Good. Now, I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, mom will come back in. She's going to tell us a little bit of something, something before she goes after I get done blow drying. But one thing I want you to know is that we're almost done for the day. And I just really appreciate you guys are here. And it's unfortunate I wasn't able to shave these guys today because there was just no shaving to be done. And so every dog doesn't need to be shaved. I will shave anything. But today we didn't have to do that. So. I hope those, those of you guys who love the fact that I shave everything down can, li can just have fun with that one. <laughs> All right. So if you don't want to watch it, what do you do? Mute it. Um, we're going to try to blow dry. We'll see how he does. I'm just having a little bit of fun today. I'm just tired of, tired of it. Oh. But I'm at peace with it. You, know, you can't change who people are. Only they can change who they are if they want to be a better person. Here we go. Let's try to blow dry. Okay, let's try this again. Push mute if you don't want. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. He's wondering about it. Hello? Okay, that's not what we want. I don't want his face to me.
Yeah, go that way. Turn around. Turn around that way. Go that way. Yeah. Not that way. The other way. Go the other way. It's okay. You know you want to turn around. Turn around the other way. Go ahead. I know you're smart. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around that way. I'm seeing if you can figure it out. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Don't look at me like that. Turn around. Turn around. You don't have to deal with it. Okay? Okay, it's tough. It's okay. We won't, we won't keep going if you don't like it. He's nervous. He's licking his tongue. He doesn't like it. He's not, not loving it. I'm trying to analyze and then to make decisions. I made some judgment calls so just enough to get some of that thick water out it's not that big of a deal I think he'll be all right without having to continue okay all right you're all right yeah I don't want to stress you out too much huh it's okay this is our first experience together I want you to remember you did good today you know there wasn't anything crazy going on there's no reason to fear coming back you know what I mean all right let's get our leave-in conditioner leave-in conditioner and my other favorite spray bottle, the Ocean. Leave in conditioner in my other favorite bottle, the Rainbow. Man, I just love all these bottles. Gosh. All right. We'll get this brush going. Not that you need to have that. Mm. Do you feel beautified? Are you feeling beautified here? <laughs> Doesn't he look like he's feeling beautified? Okay, we're almost done, Ariel. I gotta do a nail trim. I'm gonna do just a tiny bit of this and that here. Just some random stuff here, loopy loops. The end of the tail here. I'm gonna take the tail, hold the meat like I do the ears, take that trimmy off. Yeah, you're doing great. Now, I don't know how you're gonna do with the nail trim, okay? So, I'm gonna take this loopy loop here, this groom loop here. Come on, come on, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Will it even go here? No. Let me see you over here. I'm going to lock you in on this side. Okay. Take, oh, you're okay. You're okay. Let me see here. Put this in here. Come on. Lock you in here. Okay. Gives me some room, right? Now, may I look here? Let me just look at it. Do, 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 do. See this one? This is the towel? Okay, here. Let me do this. Let me look first. Let me look. Here we go. Good. 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 Uh, again. Looking. Hold on. Good. Good boy. Good 
Good boy, yeah. Okay. Door move. Mm -hmm. This one looks like a cop, huh? Very good. May I? Let me see. Let me see this one. Good boy. Good boy. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Good boy. All is claw. All is claw. Yes. Sweet. We're about to wrap it up, you guys. All right. Yes, this was such a great morning. This is so great. Do, having him do the nails and him just acting so wonderful. It's freaking awesome. I don't do bandanas. That's not what I do. I don't do bandanas. But Mom, Ariel, come on in. Come on in for me. I think she's watching. Are you guys all in the car right now watching? <laughs> all right, let's do some leave, some leave in. Let's do some more rainforest cologne. Yeah. Couple squirts there, right? Let me see, I gotta get your collar and stuff. Mom might be out back. Don't go in. Oh, oh, you got it. Okay. I'm in this way. I'm so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have you load up, come back, chit chat, say goodbye, and then we'll close out together. Okay. Does that sound Sounds good? good. Did you see everything? I did. He did a good It job. was a whole day for you then, right? Like He's a whole such a baby. This whole routine. He's such a baby. Does this look good though. here? No, it's probably this way, isn't it? Yeah. It's the other way. It's it yeah, the other way. The little one goes over. Little front. Okay. Good job, monkey. That good is paw. Good paw. Good job. There you go, buddy. Long bottom wire. I'm like, watch, I'm putting it on backwards and she's gonna go, um, that's not right. <laughs> Everyone is different, man. There's so many different harnesses out there. He's not so pretty. It's no good? He's yeah. not good, huh? Take that one off. There's two. Hold on. There's two. Ready to go. There you go. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. You're a big boy. You got, okay. We'll both right. you. We're going down. So you load them up, and I'll come back to the back, and we'll say goodbye together. Come on, go, man. Go. Yeah, he did so good. He said he's not that wet, yeah? No. He's yeah. Great. Yeah, he's not that wet. Woo. Yeah, right. The, I didn't do that. Put the put the. Uh, oh, let me see. I don't know how she um, put that on your. That's a good idea. Put that rainforest clone on your bedding. I'm gonna have to do that. I cut myself the other day. Pretty good, man. I always injure myself not at work. Injuries. You guys doing okay out there? Was this a shave down? Yes or no? Come on. Was it? I, I want you to say yes. It was a shave down. She did a shave down today. Was it a shave down? No, it wasn't. Is she shave everything? No, I don't shave everything. I want to. <laughs> you know why I want to? It's because look at the condition of the pets that come in, in most cases, right? Wouldn't you want to? Huh. Oh, come back here. Turn. All right, girlfriend. So I feel like I already know her really well. Don't you guys feel like you know, like a lot of clients, sometimes they don't always want to share everything. So yeah, it's pretty no. cool. Really open and like, right? Yeah, That's no. really awesome. I loved it. The whole experience was awesome because I like that I got to actually see what was happening. Right. Because there's been too many times where we've just, okay, oh, they're going. In those three and, years, for yeah, instance. And that, they just close the door and then you don't get to see anything that's happening. Right. And, you don't know what anxieties they're gonna have leaving or what anxieties they have going, which now gives me like a whole completely different, different outlook. Because right. now I'm going, okay, well maybe that's why they don't ever wanna but go. But listening to me, no, not that I don't know everything, but there's things I know and there's a reason I know them. So like, uh, did you hear me say, if he was with 16 other dogs, yeah. how he would be, he would already be high strung before they even touched yeah, him. Yeah, makes perfect Before sense. anybody touched him. Cause like yeah. all these dogs are, and sometimes a lady uh, called me from, I'm not going to tell you where, but she had gone over there and then her little Shih Tzu, 13, 14 years old, she knew it was next to a German Shepherd barking the whole time. Wow. The dog had been there three to four hours already and I never groomed her Shih Tzu, mm -hmm. but that was a story and she was crying 
that they couldn't finish her dog. And I said, look, I didn't groom your dog. I said, did you pay for it? And she goes, yeah, but I, they didn't, it looks like crap. Yeah, you don't and, pay for that, though. So then I said, I can fix it for you. And I, it's not my fault that it happened. I'm really, but she was crying and she, she yeah. never came in, right? But her story is real. Yeah. So that's why I know these things that if he's even a big dog and there's another big dog that's more anxiety than he has, yeah. barking for two hours yeah. and then they finally get him out what do you think he's going to be acting like yeah, he's going to a fool like he's, he's going to be like freaking yeah. jumping around and he's already just high and he's alone here yeah you know so you're right it gives you that whole like huh that makes i see it i can see it now and i hope that that's what we're doing here for you watching is that anything could be on the back side of that door right yeah mm -hmm. yeah and I, what else what i couldn't help but laugh because when <laughs> he turned the blow dryer on and i'm not kidding i don't know if you saw it he goes oh <laughs> right, right. To the camera, I'm like, oh God, what's he gonna do? Right, because, because he's fine with us, but I'm going. Okay. Well, when you said that out there, what did I say to you? It. I said well, mine is a hundred times, yeah, three hundred louder. It, when someone comes in, and no offense, that they always say that, right? Yeah. Because I never get to tell the story. They always say my dog does fine with the blow dryer at home, and I go, my blow dryer is not your blow dryer. Exactly. Okay, exactly. let me show you something because I know you're gonna be cool. This is on. Stay there. Well, one no, this doesn't so, look like my blow dryer, so we this, can start right, there. <laughs> this does this look like your blow dryer? No, it's not. Even close. So check this out. Ready? Okay. Now watch this. Now let's just have fun with it. <laughs> That's not even close. Is this your blow dryer? <laughs> no. Okay, hold on, you guys. Hold on. Get a better laugh. Watch this. And this is on. <laughs> okay. Now I know. I can just tell she's gonna have fun with this. Is that your blow dryer? No, not even close. So when it's, you say to a groomer, so he does fine with a blow dryer, you know that one that goes, Yeah, that's ours. Right. It's a little, little bitty thing. But do you see where I'm thinking now? Yeah. I'm just like, okay. Because the pressure is way different. Is it? How is it? Like, <laughs> oh my <okay>. God. <laughs> Isn't that funny though? But it's the truth. But yeah, right? the pressure so you is see different. Me, what I'm thinking in my different. head, like, okay. Yeah, okay. no, and we're just going to have to try this. We're at two different levels. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. that's why. Yeah. Especially no. with a penny who was out there was like, what are you doing? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. And she and she did fine. Whereas yeah. he was like, he wasn't so much. Like, What's that? What he was is like, that? Excuse Whoa. me. <laughs> right. Yeah, what? Yeah. That's not your blow dryer at home, you guys. Okay. This is like 350 horsepower, and the one at home is like six. Yeah. Let me just like put it into perspective. This blow dryer is like this big, <laughs> where my blow dryer is like right. This. What's big, the motor so... on this gonna look like? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to take up more of her time, but this it is hilarious, isn't it? I had to do no, that. No, it's good. Because I don't have I'm hair not, to do that anymore, I'm man. I'm a good hair day, so I'm not <laughs> mad at it. <laughs> Thank you for letting me have fun no, with you. No, I'm super happy, and I'm really pleased. The dogs, one, smell amazing. Do they? And we're sitting in the car, and I'm just petting, petting. I'm like, oh, right now? God, she's so soft. Cool. Yeah, I'm just sitting there hanging out with Leave her. conditioner. And she's super happy. She's yeah. not stressed out. She's not in the car, like, Panting, you know, ready to around. go. Yeah, she just was chill, laid cool. out, and just happy. And That's that, awesome. That made me feel really, really good about it. So your call, because I'm not taking a lot of new clients. I don't know. I didn't tell you that. But I'm not really taking a lot of new clients. Matter of fact, it's like almost four weeks to get in, yeah. right? And her rate, I'm not going to say it out loud, but it was extremely high. As soon as she said Kali, I was like, oh, pff, hundreds. And she's still booked, okay? And so I just want you to know, Penny's groom is going to be half off. Awesome. Because you rescued her and I just feel that heartfelt with what happened and you having to spend the money at a year ago to go figure her out. Yeah. If you had rescued her, I would have done something more than that. If in like with rescues, it's like in the first seven days of grooming, if you rescued them, I will do something different oh, for you. Awesome. Right. So that's when you rescue a dog, but I also feel for you guys. I really am. Thank you. Thank you that's, for coming in. No, She's I'm still booked happy. <laughs> when my rates were so extreme because I am so busy. I, and a lot of people don't come back very often. Yeah. And one of the things I told her, I did, I said everything that would make her say, Dee, Dee I can't do it. Yeah. She said, oh, you're going to need this, this, this shot. So make sure that you have those. And I'm going, okay, well, we don't have those yet. Okay. I need pictures of this. I need to know this, this, and this. And same day, we went and got all of our shots that we needed. That to same day, the that's how I knew she was yeah. so serious. On the freaking phone call, she called me and texted me later and said, here, we're done. I was like, holy smack, what? Yeah. I yeah. think I tried to get you in that day. Yeah, you tried to get me in the same day. And then um, I think it was you were something. You were thing. gone yeah, or we something. Running around all day. But she tried to get us in the same day, which was amazing. And then she's like, okay, we're probably not going to get you booked until four weeks out. And my immediate thought was, man, that stinks. But 
because I want to go somewhere that I know they're comfortable, I don't mind taking the time to wait and I don't mind paying the price that it that it's going to cost because right. they they're like so, family. So but you had had to you had to have been through something else already. You yeah. Know? Yeah. What Our, did you cuz it you have to go through something to appreciate what do you am I right like yeah, the, you have to go through hell to appreciate heaven. So you have to go through like all this crap to really understand where you need to be and understand maybe the rate yeah. cuz the rate I quoted you is not where we're going to be, not even close. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to be like, holy crap, BB. Wow. <laughs> I, I can it's imagine. Even, and for her to go through all those hoops means that she really knows why she yeah. has to go through those hoops for Dee Dee. And that's, you guys run your business how you want to, but for me to do two or three dogs a day where someone else is doing 30 or 40. And that's, that's, and I'll, so we. Do you think we, I could buy a car with two dogs a day? Oh, no, fr frankly. No. No. It's just not possible. A, a homeowner, a, a home, a, all these things, these businesses have to profit. If you're in a business, you're profiting for a reason to pay for your kids, this and that, medical, house, bills, car, da da da. So somebody who cuts their business in half and charges a little bit more for each groom has to still survive. But it's my choice to do what I do, and I try to help other people, like Betty Dyer. I try to help you guys out. Betty, you guys, I love you, man. But you understand why, and tell me why. I do, because first when I walked in, it smells clean. It's so clean in here. The dogs... I don't even think it's that clean. I, don't, I think, I think it's I clean. could be cleaner. It, I think it smells but, clean. Okay. I don't hear a million dogs and cats locked up in the background. I'm not... You're in the background. I'm not, exactly. So. I'm here. So there's nothing. <laughs> there's nobody back there. There's here. a hamster over there. No, I'm just kidding. So we, we used mm. to stay in Decatur, and okay. I won't say who the groomer was, but every time we would go in, just tons dogs cats all locked up in the back and you can hear okay well hey what time do you want to get in and we're going how is how is it even humanly possible you can take more people because you have all of these animals in the back then like, no, no 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 it'll be fine dogs would come back and just be excited to come back oh my god we're ready to come back but when we take them back it was to like home having, take him. to bring them back to the groomer they're okay. like nope 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 in the car or yes, going in or don't bring all, me in right would not want to go in you can and, feel, you can tell. Yeah, because they're stressed out. And finally, the last time that we brought him, which, I mean, it's been, it's been a while since we brought him to Grimmer. Um, the last time we brought him, I told my husband, I said, I don't want to keep bringing him here. I said, because it's obviously stressing them out. I said, and then they come home, and they're almost lethargic. Like, they've been so worn out from the visit that they don't want to do anything. They just want to lay there, and they're sad, and with my big baby. Right. <laughs> he howls a lot, and he just would not move. So to bring them here, one, to walk in and smell that it didn't smell like cat pee and poop and all that stuff everywhere, and then there's product lining the walls that are good products, made me feel instantly comfortable. And the fact that the person who's grooming my dog came out to say, hey, we're doing this, this, and this, let me take you to the back and let me show you everything, we've never had that experience before. Wow. So I just felt like so much, just, okay, great, wow. go ahead and take them because... Right. Previously, like, well, what are you guys doing? Like, how much are you charging for this? What all is included? Because you want to know every single thing, but I didn't have to ask. Because right. it was Because I laid I just, down yeah, walls for I you. I come in and she's like, <laughs> let me tell you exactly how this is going to go. <laughs> and it was great. I right. Mean, I'm, but it is a, a, a military drill yeah. sergeant, isn't it? Yeah, it's but amazing. I would rather leave my dog with a military drill sergeant that has order yeah. than somebody that is, no offense out there, clean up your act if she's talking about you, where you walk in and go... What's that smell, right? Oh, Hold on, I got something for you. Prepare yourself. Wait what for it. What does she have for me right Wait now? Wait for it. Thank you so much, Diane. Thank you so much. Okay. United States Marine Corps veteran. I got what? out six months ago. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much for your service. And that's what's even cooler that's is that so I cool, saw was veteran Thank owned. So I was much. like, no freaking way. Marine Corps? Yeah, Marine Corps. Man, Marine Corps I been. took her for Air Force the whole time. No. I thought she was going to pull out a dirty rag from no. the other place, you guys, and go, smell this. I swear, that's what I no. thought you were going to pull no. out. Look, smell what I so got. So you just got out. I did. I got out six Are you going to be inactive for two years now, something no. like that? So You're out, out. I'm out, out. Do like, they do I'm an done. early release? No. No, okay. I've done all of my Are time. you retired? I'm done. No. Oh, oh gosh, dang. What I, I was would say, get, I right? should have. I need some money. <laughs> no. Right? No, I did eight years, and okay. then I did my two years of inactive service. Okay, and already? You're done. out. Yeah, active I'm duty, done. though, right? Yes, active duty. I loved active so duty. I did two years, just... it, uh, two years reserves at Carswell. Oh, very cool. And it's not the same. Really? Was, I miss the camaraderie. Like, yeah. you know, where you get to a station, you get your crew, you have your friends. Yeah. You're, 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 you're if you miss that, will you call me? Yes. If you get lost, I call will. me because I you will. will. Oh, yeah. And you will forget, like, you, you don't know civilian life because it's military. We've been wrapped around this 
it's station yeah. everywhere we go, you know, believe it or not. Yeah. We get yeah. really used to that. So I have a phone call away. Yeah. Okay. No, That's definitely. That's so cool, man. Thank you for your service. Like, Seriously. Yes. So, you yes. so you support, she supported a veteran. <laughs> I do. I support That's all awesome. Vets. That's yeah. awesome. But thank you so thank much. Thank you. So thank you. We're going to say goodbye now. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. Thank you. Wow. It went great. It was awesome. No. I have a new friend and two dogs that came in that were a little bit of anxiety, but look how they left. They left yeah. amazing. No aggression at all they were amazing and i'm gonna do a penny half off so you guys love your community love your love the people you're grooming for and no we did not do a shave down today for the last time so if you have to share this make sure you know you put on there not a shave down thank you for all your contributions to the channel this is a t like a television channel it's the same thing how many ads did you watch on 2020 i know i counted 12 ads when you watch 2020 so those of you guys watching ads sorry about that youtube puts them out there on live streams i am sitting here grooming so i wasn't doing that but thank you so much for being a part of what i do shop with me at myfavoritegroomer.com by supporting us and you can pick up the dog up stands which we didn't have to use today at dogupstand.com we love you thank you so much bye, bye. <laughs>